Hello and welcome back to my Kubernetes series. In the last two videos we set up front and back ends for a Nextcloud instance. In the first video we set up session management and hashing with Redis and 2EM proxy and last time we established the front end with our PHP interpreter and Nginx web server. All of these applications were the preparation for Nextcloud. As these items are in place Let's now set up the ingress controller, download the Nextcloud zip file and unpack this file to our external storage and install this application. So let's look at the ingress resource first. Switching over to the terminal, I already prepared a new folder within our Nextcloud structure. So let's enter this folder and take a look at the file. We have one file in here, the ingress file. Our kind is obviously ingress and we declare a label with the key value pair app and nextcloud. The ingress resource name is nextcloud ingress and we deploy this ingress resource in the namespace nextcloud. We keep the two annotations, which are the ingress class and the cert manager, and set our DuckDNS production webhook. And we get to the spec section. We define the ingress class as nginx, which we set up in video 8. Then we define the TLS encryption. With our certificate already created in video 11.2, we specify that same secret name for from our certificate request. Then we define the rules under which we want the ingress resource to forward the traffic to our next cloud deployment. We start off with the host. As much as I wanted to um, set the path to an address such as slash nextcloud, at this moment, I was only able to get the Nextcloud instance to work through the main root directory of the web server. Moving this instance to a subfolder and defining a different path is a story for another day. We define the backend service, which is called Nextcloud, and the port 80. Great, now that that's done, let's write and quit the file and establish the ingress resource with kubectl apply-f ingress yaml. kubectl get ingress dash and next cloud. We see that our ingress resource is deployed with the address and the ports that we can reach. kubectl describe ingress next cloud ingress dash n next cloud let's spell this properly we can see the name the app uh, the IP address the ingress class where we can reach next cloud and the ports Let's move on to downloading the zip file from Nextcloud. As I set up the config map for Nextcloud 28, and 28 was not officially launched, I have to download that version from a different spot on nextcloud.com. There is a folder on the Nextcloud website called download.nextcloud.com slash server slash pre-releases. That is where I will find the version 28 beta 4. Being on the mailing list for these pre-releases was the only way for me to know where to find these unreleased versions. So let's head over there and get the link for the download. On this pre-release website you have to navigate all the way down to the bottom to find the latest version. We want the Nextcloud 28 beta 4, so I'm gonna right click and copy the link address. As we have the link Let's head back to the terminal. To download the file, there are two options. Option one is to access your file server, find the storage for the containers, and download this file directly to this storage. Option two, and that is the option we will exercise here, we log on to the PHP pod, 
change the password file to allow our daemon user to log on and download the Nextcloud zip file to the storage as daemon user. Let's find the container we will be using to enter and download the zip file. We do that with kubectl get all dash n and nextcloud. We will just take any PHP part and we'll enter that part with kubectl exec it paste the part address dash and nextcloud dash dash sh and we see the command prompt change and we're now inside the container. Let's change the vi at c password file. We'll look for the daemon user which we have right here and we want to change this line to bin ash take this piece out right and quit and now we can log in as daemon. And now we're the daemon user. Why are we doing this? As the daemon user owns the file folder www.html, it is important that we act as that user, as otherwise we might not be able to save the files. Now we can download the file with wget and paste the link we copied from the Nextcloud website. We hit enter and let the file download. The file is quite large, 205 megabytes, so we'll let it finish and continue once it's done. All right, now during the extraction process when you can use it least, uh, my computer, which I use to record all of our sessions here crashed. So um, we're going to go back into the pod that we were in originally and check out the password file, see if that's still um, set as we left it. And then we're going to check on the extraction process and see how far we got along and if it continued after the after my computer crashed. So let's go kubectl exec it the pod address dash and next cloud dash dash sh cat etsy password the daemon okay the password file is still intact so let's check out next cloud So you can see by us switching the user to daemon, all of the files that are extracted are now owned by daemon and by, uh, by the daemon group, which is fantastic. That way we don't have to change anything and can install the packages and Nextcloud right away. But do we? I don't know if the extraction process was complete. So what I'm going to do is... I will just extract it again.
Alright, as the extraction is done, and I defined the Nextcloud configuration to sit in the root of the web server, I have to move all these files from, next, from the Nextcloud subfolder to that root folder. To do that, I enter the Nextcloud folder and with uh, mv star dot dot slash, I move everything to the main root. However, let's check that really everything was moved. That's what I was afraid of. So those hidden files were not moved, so we'll move them manually. mv dot ht access dot dot slash and mv dot uh, dot user any dot slash sla and the folder is empty. We can now go back, delete the folder next cloud as well as our archive. As a last step we have to reset the password file. We could also just delete the pod and let Kubernetes start up another one, but we'll just reset what we've done previously. For that, I exit out of the daemon user and go to vi etsy password. I go in the line and say I has been no login. Right, quit and we're going to log out of the container. Before we can go to our browser and open the host path we defined in the ingress controller, we need to create an empty database and a user that has the right to manage that database. We'll pull up the command we saved in our last video in which we set up the database output the command which I saved in access database. We'll copy this command and run it on the console and should get access to our database. Here we go. Now we can start creating an empty database and a user for Nextcloud. We'll start with the creation of the database. Create database Nextcloud. Don't forget the semicolon. We'll take a quick look if the database was created with show databases. There is our next cloud. As our database is created, we can now continue with creating the user. We do that with create user next cloud at and the wildcard identified by, and we add a password. As the user is created, we have to assign privileges to that user, which we do with grant all privileges on next cloud dot asterisk to next cloud at and again the wild card. That looks good. Last but not least we have to activate those privileges with flush privileges. S the user and the database are created, we can exit the database and install Nextcloud. But I have one issue. If I install Nextcloud through the web interface, which I can do, then I will run into a timeout. It takes some time to create the database for Nextcloud and install everything. So I decided to circumvent the issue by installing Nextcloud through the console. As before, I have to log into the PHP container with kubectl exec it, paste the name of the pod, dash and next cloud, dash dash sh. 
Once accessed, I have to change the etc pass wd file and change daemon to allow login. Quit so daemon. Who am I? Who am I? And we're successfully logged in as the daemon user. Now we can execute the command to install Nextcloud. We do that with php occ maintenance install dash dash database. We use a MySQL compatible database. The database name is Nextcloud. The database host is, and we can find this host by entering kubectl get all dash n database. We're addressing the service, not any of the pods, so we'll copy the service name. Now we need to specify the namespace database, and we are addressing a service, and the cluster.local is the cluster internal address. Next, we specify the database port, which is 3306, followed by the database user, which we just created. We still see that on our screen, next cloud, followed by the database password that we defined. Next, we want to create an admin user for Nextcloud. That is going to be me, and I will assign a password to that user. And last but not least, we specify the data directory, data dear called and I will specify the full path which is var www slash html slash user data with that let us execute the install command command got no arguments expected for database host maintenance install something's off database it's name database host all right i found the issue uh, the database host that i defined here there is double dash missing so we'll try this again we'll add those double dashes and see if Nextcloud will accept this command. All right, we started the installation. I will try to log into my database here. We can have to find the command again. Output that command. And we can then watch as the database is being created. We're going to change the last piece here right away to Nextcloud. That way I log into Nextcloud right away and I can show tables and I see that database tables for Nextcloud are created which is a great sign. So we'll let this uh, installation run through and hopefully at the end get a success message. And 
and here we are already installed. I was expecting this installation to take much longer, but we are done. So next is we're going to exit the database again. Quick. Exit. Okay. Now we have to reset our container, the uh, user. We will do that with entering exit first and then vi etsy pass wd daemon no login write and quit and we'll exit the container as well. Now it's finally time to switch over to our browser and open the address we defined in our ingress file. As we open this path, we are greeted with a Nextcloud page that the domain that we're using is not allowed. That is okay as we did not specify in the config PHP of Nextcloud which domain will be allowed to access this Nextcloud instance. So we will have to switch back briefly to the terminal to update the config file. Before we do that, however, there is one additional entry that needs to be added to the config PHP, which is our Redis array. Let's look at the instructions again. If we scroll down, we find a section configuring Nextcloud. In this section, you find this array, which you need to add into your config PHP. I will copy this array and switch back to the terminal. Next I will have to find the container to log back in again, which I get with kubectl get all dash and next cloud. I will copy the PHP container name and then kubectl exec it dash and next cloud dash dash sh. I will change the Etsy password log in as daemon and enter the config folder. In here I find the config.php And as you can see, we have only localhost as trusted domain. This is the first entry that we're going to change. We're going to enter our domain. Next, we're going all the way to the bottom and going to paste the information that we copied from the website. Once done, I'm going to take out the comma just in case. We're going to write and quit. We're going to reset the password file. which is not possible because I'm still logged in as daemon. And we're going to try this again. And exit the container. As we updated the configuration file, we can now access our Nextcloud instance. We can log in with the admin user we created during the installation. So let's do that. Congratulations! We have Nextcloud installed in a Kubernetes cloud.
cluster. There are a few things I recommend you do, like installing some of the standard apps in Nextcloud, such as Calendar, Mail, Contacts, Talk, your favorite note-taking app, and so on. If you want to add more, go ahead. However, be aware, through the front end, you might run into issues with a timeout and might have to install an app through the console. If you're looking for the commands, you can find them on the next, next cloud documentation showing on your screen right now. With that, let's wrap up this video. What is working? We have the database set up and with finalizing this video, we have our Nextcloud instance up and running. If that is what you were here for, congratulations. What's next? We are going to start with the setup of our mail server. The first component will be Postfix, which will be followed by Dovecot. These two components will take care of sending, receiving, and storing emails. Like I said in several of my past videos, I don't have my own domain and will not open myself up to exposing my email server to the internet. I will use fetch mail, which is the last component, to remain with my mail service providers. However, we will be setting up a database for the mail users and make sure that my several email addresses will be sent through the individual service providers and not through one and the same central relay. I will have a backup relay just in case one of the email sends will fail. But in general, I want my users to use the mail relay of the provider they are with. That is a bit higher effort as we will have to manage several passwords in our database, but at the end, it is more than worth this effort. As you can see, there are a lot of things to learn and still look forward to. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.